Nolan of London and Pat Clinton of Scotland, the flyweight finalists, have met already this season, and Clinton won on points. Nolan of London wearing the famous black and white colours of the Fisher Club and his opponent, the Scottish Southpaw champion, Pat Clinton. Not a lot in in the first round. The difference in styles is pretty obvious. Nolan much more upright and orthodox, using his extra reach in the long left to try to keep Clinton out. And the Scottish Southpaw, curly-haired boy from Troy Miners, very aggressive, coming in with two hands with that southpaw style. The edge, of anything, is slightly with Nolan, which is against the run of form, because these two met in the Scotland-England match in January in Dundee, and the Scot got a point to see. What a good time for Nolan to reverse that if he can. Nolan's been using his reach quite well, and if he does use it properly, there's no reason why Clinton should ever get too near to him. Nolan, a postman, 20 years old, and the Scot, a joiner. Clinton now very red in the face with exertion. really got to keep his cool here against these rushing tactics of Clinton. Try to box his way through this. That's the way. And Clinton equally has got to force his way inside the reach. Two cautions now, Clinton, for holding, and he'll get a public warning if that happens again. That's the rule. And then he'll lose marks. Clinton, one of three Scots in these finals. turning into his man. Stop. Now the referee's going to have a quiet word with these two and try to uh, get them to box a little more cleanly. Stop. Nolan having trouble holding this man out. Clinton's very aggressive inside. Gets the inside position all the time. 20-year-old postman Nolan from the Fisher Club, who really must keep his boxing going if he's going to win this. The last three minutes of this flyweight final, the eight-stone division. Nolan from the Fisher Club in black and white. Clinton from Scotland, the Croy Miners Club. This aggressive Scottish South Four, and again the referee wants a little less of the uh, mauling inside, both doing their share of holding. Totally different styles, and they're not mixing too well. Nolan has been the London Flyweight Champion for the last two seasons. He was beaten uh, in these championships at the England semi-final stage last year by John Highland. Right. Both these men had inside the distance wins in the national semi-finals in Preston a few weeks ago. But they're pretty well matched. Difficult, really, to say who's going to win this be giving the judges a few problems. Right. 
a Scot won this title last year, Joe Kelly. And of course, the two years before that, Keith Wallace won this title and then turned pro. Charlie Magri, of course, won it three times in 75, 6 and 7. And there's some famous names on the honours board for this weight. John McCluskey from Scotland, Walter McGowan from Scotland, former world flyweight champion. Terry Spinks, Olympic gold medalist. Daida, great flyweight in the 50s. And a public warning now to Clinton. Well, he had his two cautions. Now that may well cost him marks. And it could well cost him the title. If it's as close as I think it is. Clinton started this the favourite after his previous win over Nolan. But I would think the odds are the other way around now. Still very aggressive, Scott. Everything will depend on how the judges have uh, scored his aggressiveness, his aggression, and how well they've noted Nolan's straight left and the occasional right. goes to the judges and Nolan clearly thinks he's done enough we'll have to wait and see ladies and gentlemen the winner of the ABA national championships at flyweight by a unanimous decision uh, Nolan and Nolan gets it the London champion from the Fisher Club